Hello everyone, and welcome to another tutorial of PyRevolution. On this tutorial, we're going to learn how to iterate through prime numbers. So a prime number is a number that is only divisible by itself and the number one. So we can always brute force to find the total prime numbers. For example, if you want to find all the prime numbers less than 3000 you can always just keep on finding all the factors like one if one is a factor two is a factor three is a factor four is a factor all the way to 3000 luckily there is a much simpler method so for this tutorial we're going to follow three criteria the first first criteria is a prime number is not zero and one that's just something that's defined. I'm not an expert mathematician, so I'll just go with that. The second one, uh, no even number greater than two is a prime number. So we know two is a prime number and every even number in the world is ha is divisible by two, hence not a prime number. So that pretty much slashes out half our data set. The third one, which I found really neat, is that prime numbers will be between three and less than root n. So what does that mean? So if n is equal to 3000, such that is we want to find all the prime numbers less than 3000, then our prime numbers will exist between three and the square root of 3000, which, well, I don't have a calculator in front of me, but let's just call it three and the square root of 3000. Okay, so let's look at our Python code. For this, we're going to need to import the library math. And we wrote a function called isPrime, which basically uh, looks through a number and it tells you whether it's a prime number or not. So we're going to look through a function and our function has three major parts. The first part is zero and one are not prime numbers. So if n is in zero or one, return false. The second one, it if it's greater than two, to see if it's an even number. So if it's greater than two and if it's divisible by two, then return false. The third one, if it's an odd number between three and the root of the number. So for i in range three to the square root of the number I, we add the plus one because python tends to take the last index less than our maximum number for example if your maximum number is 10 over here it's going to stop at eight because over here we're going steps up two so we are going to iterate through all the odd numbers between three and the square root of n and if it's divisible by any of the number as in if any of the numbers between this and the square root is a factor, then return false. If the number passes all three tests, that means it is a prime number and it's true. So now we're interested to see all the prime numbers between zero and 3000. Over here, we're going to have a list called prime, which will be an empty list, and we're going to fill it up with prime numbers. And we have a for loop for i in range 3001. The reason we put 3001 is because of the same reason. It's going to iterate, iterate in steps of one and stop bef right before the maximum number, which is 3001. So the max number it's gonna take is 3000. And for each of the function, we're going to use our is prime function, which we just defined. And if it's true, we're going to append it into our list called prime. And we're going to print out our prime list. So let's run the function. Wow, that was incredibly fast. So you can see here the list of all the prime numbers and it ends right at 2,999. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, wonder how many prime numbers there are. Let's give it a try. Len prime. Okay, so we have 430 prime numbers less than 3,000. That's fantastic. Now, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you might be wondering why we care about prime numbers. Well, first of all, if you are a CS major, this is definitely gonna come up in one of your homework sooner or later. I promise you that. 
And other than that, prime numbers are extremely important. A lot of passwords in the world, for example, bank security systems have gigantic prime numbers uh, multiplied together. So you get a unique number and prime numbers are extremely hard to hack. So if you can find the world's largest prime number, there will be banks all over all over the world willing to pay you top dollars. So if you're interested in prime numbers and you're a math geek, well, start coding and find it out. Other than that, please subscribe to my page. Uh, this get this IPython notebook is actually in the link below. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for more.